What's good YouTube, Native Mass Collector, back with another PSA submission video. This one here is uh, just doing the modern value submission, so it's 12 bucks a card. Um, I got this in before the price increase went into effect, so um, I put in a bunch of submissions beforehand and I'm just cleaning them up, seeing what grades I think they're going to get and um, kind of documenting the process here a little bit. So um, we'll just jump right into it. Um, beforehand, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Uh, based on my analytics on my channel, 94% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed. So if I can just get a couple extra here and there, that would really make a big difference for me and my channel. I appreciate that. Um, make sure you like the video, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment what you guys think, um, if you have any suggestions or questions or, or whatnot, and uh, hit that bell for notifications for um, for new videos when I drop them and be alerted for those. So let's just get right into this one here. Um, 26 cards, submission to PSA here, so we'll start out here. <clears throat> With all right, so we have Shaquille O'Neal Bowman's best honor roll 1996, and Shaquille's on the face of it. This is the refractor, and Alonzo Morning is on the back. Um, what I see in this is some print lines and some little bubble spots and things like that so i'm thinking it's going to be here's a one of those print lines you can kind of see it there um thinking an eight on on these i don't just the surface on these is so delicate um easy to uh scratch and whatnot uh, this one here is Dennis Rodman with Ar Arvita Sabonis on the back. This is the Atomic Refractor. Um, so it's a little bit more rare than the, the regular one. Uh, it's centered all right, but um, it's got a dent in the face. Kind of like a crease dent type of thing on the Rodman side. Um, got some print lines and things like that going through it too. So I'm thinking it's probably like a seven, um, but man, it sure looks good when it's behind like uh, plastic, like the semi-rigid. When once it gets in a PSA slab, it'll probably even look better. So we'll see what happens. I'm thinking it's like a seven or an eight though, but I'm thinking it's more towards the seven side. Uh, next is Cream Hunt, so this is 2017 Donruss Rated Rookie Hollow. Uh, I'm thinking a 9 based on the back left corner down here. You can see a little white spot on that corner, so I'm not sure how perfect they need to be, but you can definitely see some little white there, so that's what I'm thinking. The face side looks great. So. Uh, this is LeBron James Goodwin Champions card from 2013. Um, nine. It's off centered quite a bit. On the face side, you can kind of tell. Left, push to the left a little bit, but you never know. Might come back to 10. Who knows? Uh, John Collins Select Rookie 2017. Um, I'm thinking this thing is like a seven or an eight. It's got some surface issues on the face of it. And uh, some of the corners kind of look a little rounded, but um, I'm gonna get it slabbed up. Uh, John Collins Select 2017 Rookie Silver Prism. I'm thinking a nine. It's got a uh, 
surface issue on the top right over by the rookie sign over here so I couldn't get it cleaned off but there's a little little kind of scuff mark type of thing right there in the corner but other than that it looks really good so uh, next is John Collins um, just regular optic base and I'm thinking this is a 10. I had quite a few of these, so I just picked out the best one, but it looks pretty, pretty damn good, so. Uh, next one is John Collins again, rated rookie optic. This is the red and yellow. Um, and I'm thinking this one gets a 10 as well. It looks pretty, pretty good. But the edges are a little, seems like it might be a little bit on the rough side here, but. Um, See if I can kind of pull some of that fiber out of there and make it smooth out a little bit. But I think it still looks pretty good. It's a nine for sure. I like these cards because it's uh, you know the yellow and and red team colors as well, so it matches really nice with his uniform. I got another John Collins. I got a few of these actually. Um, Blue Velocity. And I'm thinking it's a nine based on the back bottom corners. Um, got some little white spots on there. Otherwise the face side looks really good. Uh, next one is the Fast Break Silver Prism. And I'm thinking this one here is a 10. Uh, it's a little off-centered, top to bottom. I'm just a little bit. But other than that, it looks pretty pretty good. So I'm thinking it's gonna get a, gonna get a 10. It's, it's definitely eye-pleasing, you know. Nothing really sticks out on it. Um, I got a purple optic, and I'm thinking a 10 on this one. Uh, there, was, there was like a little scuff or a drag mark or something on the face, and I got it cleaned up pretty, like, non-existent anymore, and all the corners look good, so I'm thinking this is a, it's a 10. It's pushed over a little bit, but I think it's close enough for PSA's standard grading there for centering and then my last John Collins is the shock and I'm thinking again it's a nine um, it's got print lines on the face a little bit that's pretty much the only thing wrong with it you can't really see them when it's underneath like a card saver but we shall see what happens with it. Kind of a good test too, just to know how they're gonna grade that thing. Um, next, Ray Allen Metal. Got a little white corner up there. Top left corner. Um, it's also got the binder bend, I call it, with the three ring binder it was in. It's got a little hump. Um, I got another one that I was gonna send, but it had a like almost a bent corner on it. So this one actually looks better. So that's this is what I'm just going with. Everything else looks pretty pretty good on it. Lower back corner got a little bit of a issue on it too. Uh, Jordan 1989 Fleer. I'm thinking it's a seven based on the off how off-centered it is and then the edges 
on the back, um, down here especially. But maybe I'm just being too hard on myself. It looks pretty pretty good besides that that spot, a couple little tiny spots there. But it definitely is off-centered a little bit. So we'll see. Um, Jordan 90 Fleer. I might look to see if I have anything else that's closer centering wise on this, but I think I pretty much got all those sent in already. So um, there's nothing wrong with this thing except for the centering. So I think it, 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 it could get a nine, but I'm thinking it's more like an 8.5 ish card, just because the only thing that is wrong with it is the centering. Everything else is perfect on it. So. Next is a 1990 Jordan All-Star card. Um, I looked this thing over really well. It's got some white spots on the edges on the right side. Over here. You'll be able to see them. Um, other than that, it looks really good. So I'm thinking a 9 on it. It's kind of pushed this way a little bit centering wise, but other than that, it looks really good. Uh, 1990 Skybox. Straight these out, it kind of bugs me. I just went through all these cards tonight and cleaned them up and checked all the corners and everything with the magnifying glass. I use this thing here. Um, it's got a light on it as well, so you can really see it really really well um, the only thing that I see wrong with this thing is the centering on it so I'm thinking it, it gets a, uh, a 9 I measured it with the grading tool and it dev definitely is 60 40 um, left to right top to bottom is perfect left to right um, it is the 60 40 ratio so it could get a 10 but just eyeballing it. I mean, you can tell that it's off-centered, so I think maybe that might just push it to a 9. All the corners and edges look good. Um, this one here is 1991 Upper Deck All-Star Checklist Jordan. Um, nothing is wrong with it except it's off-centered. Kind of pushed this way a little bit. I'm thinking a 9. Uh, this one here is Michael versus Magic. Great moments from the NBA Finals, 1991 Skybox. Um, 10. Uh, I don't see anything. I did not see anything wrong with this thing. So. I think it's a 10. This one here is the Jordan ProVision 91 Flair. Um, <clears throat> these came out of uh, the regular packs. They might have came out of the jumbo packs, actually. I don't remember. Um, uh, what do I got this as? Um, I got it as a 9 maybe a 10 there's a small little spot like there's something on the card that i can't clean off it's hardly noticeable but on a magnifying glass you, in, a, in a shadow you can see it it's a little tiny spot on there um other than that it's really nice it's centered perfectly and with this these cards you just don't see that so um, we're hoping for the best on this one here. It'd be great to get a 10, but I think 9 is more realistic here. Um, then we're going to get some cheapo Jordans. Um, 91 All-Star Team. Fleer. Number 211. Like the Jordan. Uh, 9. Great, I'm thinking. It's got a white corner on the back, and it's off-centered on the back quite a bit, so... Uh, next one is Jordan's 91 League Leaders Fleer. Um, I'm thinking here. 
It's got a white corner on the back lower left. So I'm thinking it's a nine. Centered pretty well in the back. Uh, on the face side, it's centered really well. It's it's clean all the way around. Just got that one little spot on the bottom corner in the back. Uh, here's the the regular base card, so to speak. 91 Fleer. Um, these are such a bitch to grade because of the, all the, you know, these 91s, are, there's no white borders. So it's really easy to see chip outs and things like that. Um, I'm thinking a 9, it might get a 10 just because it's off-centered. Um, it's, it's pushed this way and up a little bit. Um, based on what I think anyways. And I think it, I got maybe a 10. Um, it's got a small white spot on the back here too. Somewhere. I don't remember where it was, but I think it's just the, the bottom corner. Yep. Yeah, every corner seems to have like a little, little tiny white spot on it. But other than that, it looks great with the naked eye, so. And we got a 1992 Jordan Topps Archives. Um, I'm thinking an eight. Um, it's got a bad back on it. It's got some marks, some, some lines. Um, this top corner is kind of bent over. It's got a crease on it. I don't know if you can see that or not. And it's got like a little scratch here on the on the front here, a little bit. A little bit off-centered, but I don't know. We'll see what we get. I'm thinking an eight. Next is Jordan's Tops Gold Label. Um, this is 1998. Number GL1, I'm thinking this thing gets a 10 because it's clean. It's got a couple little spots from like the finish that was on it um, on the face side, but the back is perfect. So we will see what we get with this, this one. Oh, I think it looks great. Got pretty good luck with these actually. I sent some to SGC last year and got a couple tens and nine fives on, on the rest of them. But I like these cards a lot. Oops, sorry. Get some dust out of there. And the last one I have is Robert Parrish 1988 Fleer. Um, the I think it's a 10 grade. That's the only reason why I'm sending it in. Um, it's from my personal collection when I was a kid. Pulled it myself out of a pack and it looks perfect. So I'm sending it in, see what I get. So then that's it. So that was the 26 card of this next submission to PSA. I'm gonna send it in the mail tomorrow, which is March 9th. Get it off to them. And uh, then I got um, I got three more submissions to clean up and look over and send out this week. And then um, that'll be probably it for about a month or so, I'm guessing. I'm going to try to get some cards in the HGA and um, really would like to try them out and maybe CGS as well. But I, I just don't know. I'm not a big fan of their slabs yet so appreciate you guys checking it out uh, please subscribe again if you haven't like the video and hit the bell for notifications and we'll see you in the next video thanks guys later